What's going on everyone? We're going to take a look at AMD as we head into CPI data numbers tomorrow. We want to make sure that we have all of our levels marked out. So I'm going to do a little technical charting with you guys so we can, you know, know exactly which side of the fence we want to play on when and if something happens. So overall, you know, pullback today, we've been in a range for eight, nine days, a little bit of a pullback. The triple Qs did lose the 20 day moving average. Um, on the overall index. Semiconductors ETFs have been looking weak uh, going into today, so I wasn't surprised when we seen a little bit of a pullback. Uh, AMD closed at $98.80, so what we are doing is resting right here on this Bollinger Band. If we do start to confirm this Bollinger Band down, we're gonna have a hard support here at the 50-day moving average, which is actually the breakout spot that we had on May the 26th. You can see once we got over that 50-day moving average, we really put in a nice run to 109. So as we come back here to this 50 day moving average, I would expect even with good or bad CPI data numbers to at least tag this area to see if this area is gonna hold. If this area holds and we briefly lose it for a moment in time and then recapture it, I would take that long position back into the 20 day moving average of around $99, $100. But if we start to confirm downwards, meaning the second or third hour of the day, I would be looking for a short position underneath 96.85. Let's just call it 96.50. Below 96.50, we have a lot of room down all the way to 91, which is the channel level that we were trying to really hold uh, last month up, down, up, down. So this area has got a lot of price action. It's got a lot of volume tucked in here right around this $91. I would expect this area to hold on a flush through, but just keep that in mind. Just want to give you both ends of the spectrum. Now, obviously a macro long trade is far away on AMD. I would not even be thinking about, you know, trying to uh, day trade this for, you know, just because today's a red day. You know, like a lot of times I see traders, they say, you know, we had a bad day today. Uh, you know, the stock market's going to bounce tomorrow. The stock market doesn't really have to do anything. Over 109.66 is the macro trade to the long side. Again, we are a ways away from that. It's looking more like a short tomorrow. I'm just being completely honest. Uh, you know, again, speaking for day traders, if you're a longer term investor, you know, you're always dollar cost dollar cost averaging in. Uh, again, I would, you know, be more so closer to the $90 range if you're trying to dollar cost in. Right here is just pretty much a hold. We haven't broken the overall downtrend. If I can just kind of, you know, draw like a little... Uh, a little trend line here just a makeshift trend line technically right technically we haven't broken the downtrend you can see this makeshift kind of uh trend line that i draw here if i have two touch points one on the 12th of may another one on the 25th as soon as we tag this area we popped we back tested we popped do we come back down kind of back test this which is also correlating with the 50 day moving average and then pop once again it is yet to be seen if we do lose that again that 91 dollars area is your flush point please like comment subscribe on my youtube channel also join the discord that link is down in the description box below and i'll see you guys all next time